Greetings, minions! Pibbling Z here, and welcome back to Sims 4 Vladimir Todd Edition. Now, the last time we were here, we had built the entire bottom floor of the house. We'd finished Vlad's room. We finished the attic. We still have to finish the upstairs, like the library and hall and Nellie's room. And today, we're going to finish the roof! I'm so excited! We may die here. It's going to take a very long time. But I have faith that we can do it. So as you can see, last time we were here, we completely finished the bottom floor. I mean, there are a few little details that people have pointed out. You know, the fact that we have no lights at all in the den, that can be fixed. It's fine. For the most part, I'm very, very happy with it. I mean, I'm still not happy about the washer and dryer situation. It's fine, whatever. Turns out that even though we had those things in Sims 2, now for Sims 4, you have to buy a $10 expansion just to have a washer and dryer. You're not getting my money, EA. Well, you're not getting more of my money. You'll probably get more of my money. So now let's work on the upstairs. Of course, we have Vlad's room done. I mean, I think it's done. It looks like it's done. And we have to do the library and Nellie's room. Here's the thing, though. I was thinking about it, and in the books, it turns out that Vlad walks through the library to get to the stairs. Now, if he does that, then this room is really kind of meaningless and not there. So what I'm wondering is if we should just completely delete that room. Part of me says, you know what, we really need a guest room because we have a lot of people. We have eight people living in this house right now. And when it comes to sleeping, they're going to need places to sleep. But no, we're not going to do that because we're going for realism. Okay. Realism says there is no guest room in Nellie's house. So realism says we're going to delete this room. And then if they have to sleep, they've got to find places to sleep. I don't care. It's not my job to give them places to sleep. I'm only God here. I can't make beds. Oh, look what I did. I didn't even know that was a thing. We just removed the wall. Wait, we could put a cool balcony out here. Do they have a balcony? They don't have a balcony in the book, but I kind of love the idea of there being a balcony. We're putting a balcony in. Okay, so to put in a balcony, we need to have a fence. I am feeling so skilled and so accomplished, which is ridiculous because I'm terrible at this game, but I feel like I'm getting so much better at it. <laughs> so thank you for being patient with me while I learn how to do things. I still have no idea what I'm doing. I'm really nervous about fixing the roof. We may be here all day. Okay, we need a floor for outside. Things are looking pretty good. We've got a balcony. We should put stuff on it, like a grill. There's a search function when you go to buy stuff. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, that's happening. Now we need like some kind of patio table and something like that. Do they not have like patio furniture? Patio. There's no, I, whoa, <gasps> teddy bear chair. All right, what well, we're gonna do what I like to do, which is pretty much wing it. You know, you've seen the videos. Okay, so if we put this out here, then we could probably come up with somewhere that they can sit and then they can make the food and they can eat it and they won't have anywhere to sleep because I'm not giving them extra beds. It's looking so nice. I'm so pleased with it. What are we missing? Wait, you can't actually plan them? I don't want them then. Why is it a birthday hot tub? Wait, maybe I don't want to know. If you're going to have a ghost, it's got to be a big ghost. These are small ghosts. We don't want your small ghost. You take those small ghosts and get them out of here. Everybody can see outside when they're hanging out with the grill with nothing else because I don't know what else to put out there, but it's fine, probably. Ooh, do they have a cooler? If we had a cooler, that would be cool. See what I did there? Okay, um, we're just going to worry about doing the outside of the house later, not, not now. I think for now we should probably focus on the library because it's smaller, so it's a little bit easier. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. <gasps> it reminds me so much of my old office and what the walls looked like. I loved that office. I loved those walls. So we're going to make the library kind of look like that. It's crazy how good I'm getting at this. I'm, oh wait, I'm not getting good at this. Okay, so now we have to put stuff in here. But I think we should start with like curtains or something. You know what I mean? Because, because curtains... There's no railing here. I wonder if they'll fall to their deaths. Ooh, like a blood red. It won't work with our, oh, I wanted it to work with those. Well, what are the stupid curtains you have? I can't have the ones I want. I mean, I'm not changing the windows. We cannot, we cannot go through that again. I can't put curtains there. Yeah, it, what, this, 
why why insufficient wall height you're an insufficient wall height oh my god this game is so picky but we can't have anything there how did i get rid of stuff like windows all right yeah, now now it's good everything's fine stop doing the thing with the box oh my god stop it i think the first thing we need since you know it's a library should probably be books you know this search function is making things way way easier i'm stupidly feeling really optimistic nobody crush my optimism because i'm so excited because i feel so like smart look at me i can use the search function what <gasps> no oh no it's locked <laughs> It's the business career thing, just like my desk. Oh, it makes me want it more that it looks like electrocution bookshelf. It's not. How cool would that be? And we're going to put one ridiculously over here. Oh, no, we're going to put multiple ones ridiculously over here because this is a library and we can do what we want except talk because you have to be quiet in the library. Turn, turn. Don't judge me. You have to be an athlete to have that rug. Why do you have to be an athlete to have the rug? You don't have to be an athlete to buy any particular type of rug. I think I have really deep-seated rug issues. Holy rug. Oh, if the makers of this rug made tables, Nellie's dining room would be so much better. I love this chair. This is known as like a, a Victorian balloon chair. They're gorgeous and I love them so much. I don't know that I want one here. I put one over the stairs so everybody can see there. Nobody falls down and dies, even though they might anyway, because there's no railing. Who needs safety? It's beautiful. Look at the little kitty. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> it's like a menti, but in planter form. And now we can take a menti planter and we can put a menti planter on the table. Oh, look how cute it is. I'm so happy right now because we don't have a menti purple dragon anymore. I'm still sad about that. You know, I'm really pleased at the way this is turning out. I'm honestly, I mean, nobody jinx it, but things are going so absurdly well. I'm like starting to get really super excited about doing the roof and I'm sure everything will fall apart then. But right now I'm very, very happy. You know how we're like super good at this game and amazing? Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're building our own rug. One tiny square at a time. My God, it's never going to end. I found a big rug. Oh, 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 I don't want to settle with my rug. I want it to be gorgeous and I want to love it. I also want a million dollars. I don't want you up there. I want you to stop doing it. Oh my God. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be perfect. It doesn't matter. We don't care. Whatever. It's fine. It's finished. You know what this house is missing? A vending machine. More plants! Okay, but someday I am so doing that all cat family, and then the only plants we're gonna have are these smitten kittens feline florals. The only thing we're gonna have is all cat decorations all over, and litter boxes in every room. Truly, it will be paradise. That's weird looking. Not like in the good weird way, but then like the not good weird way. Hallway is done. Library is done. Everything's looking Good. Why do I feel so nervous? Look at that. We've hardly been playing at all and we're already ready to finish this Nellie's room and I can't wait because this means I'm going to finish the roof today and that means next time we can actually play the game on to Nellie's room. Something like this would be awesome, but apparently your walls have to be like 500 feet tall. You probably also have to be like a level 15 in the business sector or whatever. No, we're not doing that. I'm not playing your game, Sims. Except I'm literally playing your game. Look at me. Look how smart I am. We need a bed. It's gonna be a beautiful bed. A big bed. Because, you know, Otis might stay over. Oh, you know what we need that we haven't put in yet? We need a rug. I forget what rugs were under. They were under search. Something going on with Nellie's bed. What is wrong with the curtains? Why? Why? Why can't I why are you do? Stop eating my bed. And look at the curtain. What the? It's almost like whoever put those there didn't know what they were doing. Can now I put the bed? No. 
because you'll still eat the bed. Stop eating my bed. So we're going to do a thing. It's called move the windows. Now we need nightstands because if we don't have nightstands, how's Nellie going to have one of them? Get it? The curtains eat those too? Oh my God, you stupid curtains. I hate you. Not enough to get rid of you, but oh, enough to complain about you on the internet. Everything's fine. I don't think everything's fine. Oh man, I know it's nothing we can have, but there's also the unliving sofa. <gasps> we can do an entire room with spoopy ghosty furniture and spoopy ghosty lamps. Oh, I'm so excited. We need something over here. We don't need the candles over here. Not the candles over here. Stop with the candles. Everything's still going so smoothly. I'm really nervous. Once we finish Nellie's room, I think we have a couple of little things to fix. Maybe only one little thing to fix. I know that we need lights in the den. Once we fix wall issues and stuff like that, we're going to go tackle the roof. Assuming that we actually finish the roof, which we are not leaving here today until we finish the roof, we'll go outside and we'll do some of the gardening and it'll be lovely. And then next time we come in, we can just play. I probably need hobbies. This is how my life is now. I just live in The Sims. Building. Forever building. Let's see what kids have and see if we can steal it. It's a skelly bear. This bear has got to be in Vlad's life because look at it. Why did the, I don't, my walls are not as big as these curtains. I don't even know how to change the wall size. I can't have anything I love in the game. Oh, I like the idea of her having a, a Victorian dollhouse. That's pretty cool. What if we like got a cool table and set this dollhouse on it? I really like that idea. Oh my God, table. Who needs a table? Look at the size of this thing. She could just live in this. We don't even need to build this house. What am I doing? And as soon as we're done like with her walls, I think we're about, we're about there. And her room is like done. I'm so excited. This is so weird. I don't know what's happening. What was I doing wrong the other day? And, and the other day and, and the other other day. Am I getting smarter? This might be it. We're gonna see. <gasps> That's it. Oh, look at us being smart again. Oh no. It was fleeting. I haven't even had to Google anything. Nellie's room is good. We are done? How can we be done with it? I don't trust this. That's it. That's Nellie's room. We have successfully built a library, a hallway, Nellie's room, a bonus balcony, and we're done? We're not done done, but we're like done part one done. And now, you know, we'll deal with the other stuff. Our house is looking... Uh-oh, there may be an issue. The living room walls are not painted adequately and we're missing curtains. Okay, so there are a couple little things we have to do, but I mean, overall, the house is looking really, really great and I'm really pleased with it. Why aren't I smart? Oh, wait, 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 I forgot. We have different things. Oh my God, I hate when I'm dumb. See, I told you I was smart and you doubted me. I'm so great at this game. You guys are so jealous. It's happening again, the thing where I'm not real smart. Even the non-laundry room laundry room has curtains. We have to have curtains in here. We're just going to build more windows. Everybody strap in, cause this is happening. I feel like there should be something here between them, but there's not going to be because, because there's not going to be. Now we are going to put curtains on something. Please let me find curtains. I, I would, I would do just about anything to have some kind of curtains. Give me the right, no, what is wrong with you? That doesn't, that's not window sized. I need window curtains. Why, why, why have curtains that aren't the size of windows? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. We have everything. That's, that's everything. And this is pretty much how I picture it in my mind. So this is going really, really stupidly well. Oh, but you know, I did notice something. There is a bit of an issue when it comes to this little patio area. And this is the issue. Yeah, um, there needs to be like a pillar or something here because otherwise, I mean, structurally, that's just not sound at all. I don't know what's asking here. I don't know what it wants from me. We're gonna ignore it. Okay, maybe we should put another one there and then and then ignore that and then do another one here and then ignore that completely yay as long as we ignore things they turn out perfect i'm avoiding the roof last time i had this house built i had a pool and henry 
drowned himself. But I still think it'd be really cool because it could lead to a lot of wacky shenanigans. But technically, I mean, really, I don't picture Nelly's house having a pool, but part of me really wants to put in a pool because it would be funny. As it is, let's face it, there's one toilet in this house and eight people. There's going to be something humorous happening. There's going to be a, a lot of wet pants in this game. Okay, so since we're absolutely not avoiding finishing the roof, I was thinking that we would plant some things. You know, things that are important to plant before you work on a roof. This shrub looks like a pumpkin. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm planting things. and They're very important for the, the aesthetic and the not building the roof. But I don't need an excuse to come over here and put lights out. It's not like I'm hiding from roof building. We're, we're getting close, dangerously close to the roof, but it's almost perfect down here. Can we just focus on the good for a moment? It's all turning out so beautiful cause I'm so talented, do, 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 do. We do not speak of the roof. A dry rose bush, oh, all the things can be dead. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I've planted all the flowers I can possibly plant, but you know what we're missing? A tree. Menti got her pudgy little body stuck in a tree, if you'll recall, in eighth grade vice. So now we need a tree. I have to stop looking at the dead trees. You know what we'll do? If I create the crypt the way we were talking about, like creating a second house and making it the club, making it the crypt, I'll put all dead plants around there. It'll be fantastic. I'm so excited. We'll put that there. I don't want to brag, except I do. The house is looking great. I'm super, super excited. I actually think it's starting to look like a house. This is not at all me avoiding the roof, but I just realized something that we need. We have got to have a little fence around the yard with a gate because there's the squeaky gate. So we have to do that. I promise we are getting to the roof today. It is going to happen. And when it does, it shall be glorious. Probably not at first, but it will definitely end with glorious. I am so confident in our skills. So confident that I just realized we need more flowers. Gotta admit, I don't know how to do the gate. Kind of hoping that just falls into my lap. We'll see. No, 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 no. How do we get rid of the fence? Sledgehammer? Can we, can we sledgehammer it? Do we have to sledgehammer? Oh no! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, we sledgehammered the house. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, we have to fix that. Maybe we should not be allowed to have the sledgehammer. Clearly bulldozing was the smartest option. I'm disproving my smartness. Oh my God, stop letting me play this game. I'm just so bad at it. But now, horrible things. Stop it. Stop deleting things. Oh my God. I'm just glad we can't delete characters like this because this is so not good. I don't know where I went wrong. I was honestly, I was like, okay, you know what? I got to plant this fence. Then we're totally going upstairs. We're absolutely going to work on the roof. And then this happened. I'm blaming the makers of Sim 4, except it's not their fault. Do the thing. I hate you. I don't know if I'm talking to the fence or the sledgehammer or the truck thing I click on or myself. I worked so hard at my house. No. Oh no, don't bulldoze the lot. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that because now I have so much to fix and it's never gonna end. I'm never gonna be done playing this game. I can't believe this. I can't believe I have to fix the wall. I have so much work to do. I deleted my door. I thought my door just disappeared when I got rid of the, when I got rid of the wall and all the plants and my light's gone. Oh my God, this game is going to kill me. It's gonna be lovely and no one will be the wiser because you're not gonna tell anyone. You got my back. We're in this together. Everybody breathe. I'm going to install the second porch light. The porch light has been installed. Now we're gonna go inside and survey the damage. We can fix this. We're going to very slowly figure out this fence situation. I am very nervous about the fence now. Notice I'm moving very slowly and carefully because I do not want to rebuild the house all over again, even parts of the house. I know Nellie's house has a gate. I know it does. This one's not going to have a gate. I'm not sure how I feel about the white fence. Can we change it colors without touching it? We can just make it that. Oh, thank you, Sims 4. I really appreciate it because I've been through a lot. So I feel like 
we're we're in a good place. Everything is fine. I don't have a pool yet, but I think I think I'm gonna wait on the pool and think about it. The upstairs don't look good, and the roof just ugh. okay. Let's ignore the roof thing right now. Okay, we're gonna focus on getting the house to be one color. We're just putting shingles on the wall or something. We're putting something on the wall. I don't remember. Are they shingles? What? The shingles. Shingle siding. Oh, we're putting shingles. Oh no, no, we're putting shingles. Okay, I'm smart. I mean, unless you look at what happened to the door. It's starting to kind of look like a house. I don't want to not do something because I'm afraid of it. I'm going to make it beautiful because otherwise it's going to keep me up at night and we don't, we don't need that in our lives. Quick, build a wall while no one's looking. Oh, it worked just how I thought it would. Oh yes. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, okay, okay. Nobody breathe. I didn't break it. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. We're gonna put some kind of crap out here, I guess. Look at it. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy. See, this is this is why they call it building because it never ends. You know, 10 years from now, this is gonna be one gorgeous house. If I could put him on top of the fence, I so would, but I can't, so. You know, I'm, well, I'm not going to. We have tombstones. <gasps> oh, the crypt is going to be so amazing. We build a little graveyard in the backyard. Oh, I'm so excited. There's a thing I want to do, and it's got to happen because otherwise at night, you're not going to be able to see how beautiful our gargoyle is. Now, like, the front of the house lights up. It's beautiful. You can see our gargoyle. Everything's cool. Nellie's bedroom is fine. The second front door looks even better than the first one, if you ask me. It's looking like a house. <laughs> I, I could cry, but if I do, it'll probably smudge paint or something. I'm not going to. You guys ready? We're almost there. Okay, I just, I have to put siding around the attic thing, and then we are going to do the roof. It's going to be great. I don't know if I can do the roof. I don't know if I have that kind of strength. It's been a really hard day for me. You know, with every bit of siding, all I think is we're going to do the roof next. It's coming. There's no running from it now. It's time. I have nothing else I can build until I decide on that pool situation. I guess we'll build the roof unless you guys have any other ideas. <laughs> Why don't we start small? Okay, let's start on the attic roof. If we mess this up, it's so small that it's, it's fine. Everything's good. Okay. All right, here we go. That's not right. How do I get you to, no, I don't want to, I don't want to. Oh my God. All right. I'm going in. I'm going to do another one here. We're getting it. We're getting it. How do we turn you around? Do I just place you and then hope for the best? There's only one problem with this situation, but it's okay. We're getting there. This is, this could be a lot worse. Oh my God, it's kind of working. I feel like I'm starting to understand how they do it. So like this one, obviously, this one needs to go down. Okay, but wait, then this one, if this one goes down, they that makes no sense at all. <gasps> I've done it. I've done it. Oh my God. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Oh, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Look, 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 look. It's a real roof. Oh, oh, yay. <laughs> okay. I can do this. I'm amazing. <laughs> you, oh, you thought you could fool me. You were so wrong, Sims 4. I have this. I know what I'm doing now. Shh, don't tell them that. Let's try this again. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, don't. Don't you, don't you do that. All right, all right, all right, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay, got it, got it. All right, and then we grab this thing and we drag that out. And this is not what I want, but it's, I'm starting to wrap my head around it. Oh my God, I love being smart again. Yay. <laughs> what happens if I do this? Will it, will it ruin it? It didn't ruin it. Oh, you know what I can do? <gasps> I can do that. I grab this and I go back, right? Stay with me on this one because we're about to be amazing. Okay, well, that's not working out the way I wanted it to. I was smart and then something happened. 
we got to get off that sledgehammer. That is just asking for trouble. That could be worse, right? Now we just have to figure out this part, and then we have a little bit of siding to do, and then we're there. Please don't let me screw this up. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, look, it's our house. Oh, it's so pretty. It's not our house. Nobody look. Don't look. Nobody look. We're not done yet. We have things to do first. Now everybody look. It's our house, and it's so pretty, and I'm so happy with it. And I did it all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yay me! <laughs> I think it's safe to say that that's it for today. <laughs> and the next time I come back, we're gonna make a decision about that pool. So if you have any ideas about whether or not we should have a pool or not, please drop them in the comments below. Um, I appreciate all the tips you guys have been giving me. I've largely been ignoring them because I wanted to kind of follow the journey on my own, but I'm really glad I did because now I feel super, super smart and I'm really, really happy with myself and I'm really, really happy with you guys. And I didn't cry once. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> So I'm going to go celebrate how amazing I am. <laughs> you go do something, celebrate how amazing you are, and I will see you next time. <laughs> be good, be safe, and remember, Pibbling Z is awesome, and I love you.